Welcome to the Midweek Wrap, the only hyper-local news, weather and events program for the Yarra Valley and the Dandenong Rangers. Only on Yarra Rangers Life TV. Yes, and if you've been living on another planet, you may have heard, or well, if you haven't heard, yes, obviously the latest round of restrictions have been uh, introduced by Premier Daniel Andrews over the weekend, of course. Now, to find out more about them, um, we'll be sharing some posts. We have shared some posts and any more updates, we'll be sharing them with you guys as well. But certainly go to the DHH. Yes, website, dhhs.bit.gov.w forward slash coronavirus. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, and of course, stay safe out there and please um, do adhere to the new guidelines and the new restrictions. Um, if we don't move, then the virus isn't moving around and it's stopping that community spread, which is the thing that's really, we're trying to get on top of at the moment. Yeah, that's right, mm. absolutely. But COVID aside, what have we been up to, Pat? Yes, um, COVID aside, uh, last week, Danny and I, we did a local business excellence story. We shared yes. the, the Jumbuck cleaning and restoration story. Fascinating stuff. Um, if you, you know, would ever wanted to see the process of what's involved in cleaning a, you know, a rug or a carpet um, and the importance of fibre protection as well, you can understand why these guys were award winners, of course. Um, they've won some Australian Excellence Awards. So if you yeah. need your rugs clean or your carpet clean, um, go have a chat to the guys at Jumbuck. Fantastic yeah, absolutely. service. Yeah. Then Saturday night, we were back with Valley Vibes. Oh, yeah. We had some uh, rock and roll classics yeah. on by the, uh, the Loose, Loose Way, Way Kings. Kings. Yes. yes. So no audience um, on Saturday night, unfortunately, due to further restrictions. So it was just us. Yeah. And but yeah, thanks for tuning in for all your comments. We had a great time. Yeah, didn't it was we? us and our viewers, of course. Um, it had it clocked up over 6,000 views overnight. It was massive, and um, lots of comments. Everyone had a great night. So, if you would, if you need a fun night out, check out our Valley Vibes broadcast. I think we've done about 15 in the last couple of months. Yeah. Um, just to keep very you popular. guys, yeah, saying and I. So a lot of fun. They're an hour or so long. Check them out. Yeah. Yeah. And fun. then on Sunday, we came here to the Coldstream Brewery to share with you their local story. That's right. I spoke to Mick, Mike, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> We called him a couple of different names, but that's okay. Um, sharing another local business story. Uh, this place has been around for 13 years, mm. making mm. local brews, and they also do food, so you can pick up uh, your food here in Coldstream. And they also do an amazing thing where they're supporting uh, the homeless through Holy Fools by uh, making meals, essentially, and um, passing them on to Holy Fools to distribute to our homeless in our community. So a local business supporting a really important local cause. That's right, and um, Karina was asking uh, when we came to Coldstream Brewery, their logo is the Shivering Man. Where does the Shivering Man come from, Karina? A cold stream. Yes, could be standing in a cold stream. So if you've ever wondered about the logo for the Coldstream Brewery, the Shivering Man logo, that explains that one. Yes, it does. But uh, speaking of supporting local businesses, um, we have extended our local business saver for the month of August. So if you'd like to promote your business on Yarra Rangers Live TV, it's only 250 bucks for us to come out and promote your business to our 11,000 plus followers, of course. So uh, email yrlife.tv at gmail.com. We'll get back to you with some more info. Absolutely. Mm, but now it's time for the latest local news headlines presented by our very own Karina Stone. Thanks, Pat. The Our Rangers Council is asking local residents for their input to help create the Lilydale Structure Plan, a framework which will assist the council in mapping out how Lilydale will look in the next 20 to 30 years. The structure plan relies heavily on community feedback and once completed will include an action plan outlining key infrastructure improvements, capital works projects, precinct planning, urban design and more. So whether you work, live or study in Lilydale, be sure to have your say by visiting the council's website. And sadly, due to COVID restrictions, the events that usually take place in the first week of August for Homelessness Week can't go ahead this year. However, local charities, groups and organisations such as Holy Fools, the Our Rangers Housing Action Group and Anchor are urging residents to spare a thought for the members of our community who are doing it even tougher right now. Councillor Tim Heenan, an advocate for the homeless, who has spent over 900 hours sleeping in a cardboard box in Melba Park to help raise awareness for people experiencing homelessness, says he's disheartened that COVID has put a halt on his winter sleepouts. But the hope is that the Yarra Rangers community won't forget about those who are truly in need during these trying times. To find out how you can help, visit the Yarra Rangers Homelessness Week Facebook page or get in touch with Holy Fools. 
And there was public outrage last week after an announcement that a family of 40 kangaroos would be shot and killed to make way for the Kinley Estate at the Lilydale Quarry site. But thanks to thousands of local voices, the circulation of petitions and campaigning by Animal Justice Party MP Andy Medic, the Department of Environment granted a short stay on the cull with the hopes that the translocation can be agreed upon. It's important to note that the decision to cull was made by the Department of Environment, not the developers of Kinley Estate, a decision that has outraged many in the Yarra Rangers community. If you would like to help prevent the cull, you can have your say by emailing the Minister for Environment and the Minister for Planning. Hey, I've seen your face before and I can help but wonder how I let you slip right out of my hands. Shame on me. I must have lost my head somewhere yesterday oh, It was really nice to meet you I hope that I can see you again sometime If I had the chance to love you And great read as always, Karina. Thanks, Pat. Certainly unprecedented historic times that we're living through and we all have to, of course, work together um, as a big team to um, yeah to, to stem the tide of, of Corona. That's right, and mm. please make sure you're looking after your mental health as well, guys, because mm. we know that um, being sort of stuck in ISO and having things change so drastically can take a toll on your mental health. And don't forget, there's always Lifeline to call and Beyond Blue if you need to speak to someone. Yeah, and always check up on your friends too. If you haven't heard any, from anyone in a while or you've noticed a change in you know their their patterns of behaviour or. Um, their routine, um, certainly touch base and reach out. And Absolutely. Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And of course, don't forget, um, we've got our local business saver, just a last quick plug, 250 bucks to advertise your business on Yarra Rangers Life TV to our 11,000 plus followers. Um, email yrlife.tv at gmail.com to find out more. Yeah, absolutely. And we don't really know what we've got coming up with all these new restrictions in place. So mm. probably not a whole lot at the moment, but be sure to stay up to date by following our Facebook page. Yeah, that's right. We'll be putting all the latest announcements of upcoming broadcasts and whatnot on our page as always. Um, and any latest updates, of course, in relation to coronavirus um, from DHHS, we'll be sharing those announcements with you guys too. Absolutely. But now we have to do our thank yous. Thank you to Danny Field behind the mm. camera, especially at Valley Vibes. Uh, he does a lot of hard work because it's non-stop, so... Yeah, massive night on Saturday night, Dan. Love your camera work, of course. Thank you to Karina Stone, Thanks, our man. hostess with the most S. And thank you to you guys out there for tuning in, for watching, and, of course, for living life in the Valley and the Rangers through Yarra Rangers Live TV. Absolutely. But that's the end of another midweek wrap. Mm -hmm. As always, Pat, mm -hmm. we're living, loving, and sharing, well, the lockdown life here in the Valley and the Rangers, only uh, on... Yarra Rangers Live TV. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.